Hey friends, it's Mariana. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, then welcome to my channel. In this video today, I am going to be doing a photo shoot, get ready with me, and a vlog. I'm using this um, Infinity Pro wand by Conair. It's literally my favorite one ever, but... good though um i think i might retouch it up before i leave to go take the pictures just so they can be like fresher fresh er i guess so now i'm going to start up on my makeup so i can look a little less crazy than i do right now i think i'm just gonna do like a simple makeup look so i kind of just want to do like a little bit of eyeshadow just to do a little something different but also at the same time i don't know how to do makeup at all this is like actually my favorite foundation ever. I feel like I've been using it for like two, three years now. It's the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. We're going to do some blush so I can have some color to my face. Because, yeah, so I'm going to be using the NARS, uh, this is the NARS. I stole this from my mom, and she noticed, like, a few days, she actually noticed the day I was leaving to San Diego. She was like, is that mine? And I was like, yes, ma'am. Um, so this is actually from my mom, so thank you, mom, even though I just stole it from you. R.I.P. I'm so sad. Anyways, I think I'm done getting ready. I'm not sure though. Okay, so I just finished my hair. It's kind of dark right here. Is that better? And there's like a glare on my glasses, but I really can't do anything about it because I'm blind. But I just finished my hair and my makeup. I do this makeup like all the time i feel like it's just super simple except i added some eyeshadow which was really bad but you can't even see it anymore since i'm wearing since my eyelashes are actually really long so that's it for the get ready with me so you guys are going to see the vlog of the photo shoot i did with torla which i'm super excited about because i loved the photo so let's get on to the vlog but i'm going to change into my first outfit and i'll show you guys what i'm wearing hi guys so i put on my outfit and i don't know how i feel about it so basically it's just this black shirt from Tilly's and it's just a long sleeve button down shirt and then this belt I literally wear all the time I don't know where it's from though and then I have these jeans from Target which are like super baggy and like boyfriend jeans I don't know how I feel about them with this outfit and then I'm just wearing my Doc Martens that my mom got me so I think I might change my jeans um I don't know yet this is like this is like something I normally never would wear and I kind of like it but also I don't know how I feel about the jeans this is my outfit I wish I had like those belts like the chained ones kinda um but this is my outfit I think I don't know if I'm gonna change it anymore I uh, kind of want to get like a shoelace and like wrap it around I don't know if that'll look good how do girls like pull these lips off this literally looks stupid I'm going to charge up my camera though and then I'll update you guys whenever Carla's here and whenever we're like on our way to the photo shoot. Hi guys, so finally with Carla and we're about to go to our first photo shoot location. It's like a graffiti wall kind of. It's like under this bridge and kind of near my house. Okay, I'll see you guys when we get there. Hi guys, so we just got to our first location. Well, we're not there yet, but we're walking down. It's like a 10 mile walk. 10 miles? Stop saying that. But I'm excited. I feel like this picture is like gonna out so good. I think it's blocked off, guys. I mean, what would what would happen if we trespassed? Even though it says no trespassing, because it's literally wide open right here. Like, what would happen?
trespassing right now. Um, just see these Instagram photos. So we are over there at that wall. And it messed up my shoes. So really appreciate that. Now we're at this wall where it says skate and it's kind of a vibe. So we're gonna take pictures here. Also, we're trespassing like majorly. Okay, so we are going to go to our next photo shoot location. Take pictures in this outfit. So take pictures in this outfit just because I need more in this outfit I feel like I have some cute poses that I saw on Pinterest so I'm gonna do those and then I'm going to change and then I'll do like the summary photos so I need to change outfit <laughs> This is literally a dream. We got a whole lot of new money though. Rain drop, drop top, top smoking, no cooking the hot pot. We're gonna do one little segment of um, a mukbang. So we have Chick fil A with us. We took our photos and then we got Chick fil A. So we are going to talk about fake people, <laughs> fake friends. <gasps> um, what are we gonna talk about? Uh, what do you about fake friends? Okay, what do you think about them? I think... What makes a friend fake? First of all. A um, lot of things actually. Okay. For me, I can't stand the liar. That's like... The shit that pushes me over the edge. So I just feel like if you can't be honest in a friendship, that's weird. Because you're not... It's one thing to be dishonest in a relationship, but... In a friendship, like, you should be open with this person, you know, and there shouldn't be lies. Especially lies, if you guys lies, are really close. Lies for what? Especially if you guys are really close, huh? So, I feel like if you have, like, a dishonest friend that's always going behind your back, either saying things, doing things, that they know would have upset you, <laughs> fucked up. Yeah, I agree. I completely agree with that. I think the same thing as you. You're pretty good at giving advice. Because I just feel like you guys are friends, you know? You should be comfortable with your friends to know everything without judgment uh -huh. and all that. What if a friend was doing something behind your back, but like they wanted to tell you, but they couldn't tell you? What do you think about that? And then they shouldn't be doing it. Oh, that's so true. These fries are good. Remember last time they gave me no salt on my fries? <laughs> and you had Corona? <laughs> yeah. I went to Chick-fil-A and I'm like trying to pick up my fries while I drove and I was like freaking out in my head because I was like, oh my god, I don't taste anything. And then I asked them, hey guys, how are your fries? And this girl goes, best I ever had. And I was like, huh? And she was like, yeah. Like, and everybody was like, yeah, they're really good today, blah, blah, blah. They were. Uh, I was just like so fucking struck and then I was like just holding it in and then I was like guys I can't taste anything and then we all got scared and then we got scared they were like literally just like backed up in their seats and I had them try my fries and they're like oh there's no salt in yours so I was we thought she had corona for a second I was fucking scared I would have been heck scared because we were literally all in the same car yeah we would have all had it 
Okay. I wonder how many times I've like come across the little coronabacteria or like the little virus. Mm -hmm. Especially because I've been to the airport like four times. Chick fil A is so good. I'm so glad they opened one right there. We love her. Okay, we're gonna jam out to some music. We're gonna vibe now. Yeah. Thanks for watching our mukbang segment. Mukbang. Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see.